beyond the jazzy streets of New Orleans' French Quarter, you'll find the lovely tree-lined streets of the Garden District. Historic houses, cemeteries, cottages, and gardens surrounding a variety of eateries offering anything from fast food to fine dining. Simple but fantastic delicacies like hot dogs, as well as distinctive plates like Louisiana Italian cuisine, will satisfy your hunger down Magazine Street. Here are the top 10 restaurants in the Garden District, New Orleans, Louisiana, USA. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10, Turkey and the Wolf. This one is no ordinary sandwich shop. Turkey and the Wolf are as odd and colorful as a Mardi Gras procession. It has been nominated for a James Beard Award numerous times. Some call it weird, some call it wonderful, but you can simply call this imaginative cuisine tasty. A collard green melt with cherry pepper dressing, a fried bologna sandwich topped with potato chips, or a hog's head cheese taco with hot sauce will not be found anywhere else. Number nine, Pascal's Manal. The New Orleans barbecue shrimp that made Pascal's Manal renowned over the last century is not at all barbecued. Instead, these crustaceans are cooked in a spicy butter sauce, though the misnomer won't bother you when they melt in your mouth. Other menu items include classic Italian and Louisiana cuisine with wonderful adaptations. The finest crab dip you've ever had, been made with cocktail sauce and remoulade, while a Frodo del Mare mixes seafood to a platter of marinara covered pasta. Number eight, Silver Whistle Cafe. The Silver Whistle is a cheery cafe nestled in the corner of the Pontchartrain Hotel facing St. Charles Avenue, where locals and visitors alike may enjoy the charming environment with their breakfast or lunch. The Silver Whistle Cafe serves light breakfast dishes and freshly brewed coffee. The breakfast po' boy and the hot tin cure burger are standouts. This is where the city's judges, lawyers, and oil tycoons came to snack. This lovely cafe serves coffee, baked goods, and sandwiches. Number seven, Jack Rose. In a fanciful setting, Jack Rose is an upscale hotel restaurant serving refined Cajun Creole meals and beverages. In the Garden District, Jack Rose offers a unique and enjoyable dining experience. The dynamic atmosphere promotes spontaneous celebration. Whether you're having dinner in the Jack or Rose rooms, organizing a party in the Mile High Pie Club, eating on small plates under the Lil Wayne portrait in the living room, or drinking sparkling rosé in the Rose Garden patio. Menu items at Jack Rose are a mashup of New Orleans' favorite Italian, French, and Spanish meals. The cuisine is unpretentious, but expertly done. Number six, Dat Dog. If you're looking for tubular tastes, Dat Dog is here to satisfy your every desire. The basic Vienna beef with ketchup is available, but it pales in comparison to the hundreds of other creative combinations. With that sauce and Nana slaw, go all in on an alligator dog, a spicy duck sausage, or a vacresson hot sausage topped with Creole mustard and sports peppers will set your tongue on fire. Don't miss out on the crawfish etouffee fries. Number five, District Donuts and Coffee Bar. District Donuts, sliders, and a brew is a great way for you to meal plan between breakfast and lunch. Even a Monday morning can be made enjoyable with Vietnamese diced coffee and a tasty kolak with bacon, egg, and cheese. A to-go package of cinnamon buns and glazed donuts will get you through any long day. With a package of pork belly or chicken sliders and waffle fries smothered in handmade cheese sauce, you can keep your appetite in check for the remainder of the day. Number four, Cafe Abyssinia. If you like to hunt hidden gems, Cafe Abyssinia will provide you with an unforgettable experience. Cafe Abyssinia, the city's first and one of the few Ethiopian restaurants, invites guests to dine family style. Injera, a spongy bread that doubles as a utensil, replaces silverware. As you try new dishes with new acquaintances, nibble on savory sambusa, pastries packed with beef and veggies, and dip your inhera into a spiced butter sauce. Number three, Mahoney's Po' Boys and Seafood. The famed Po' Boy, a local delicacy served classically and artistically at Mahoney's Po' Boys and Seafood, is at the top of the long list of must-eats in New Orleans. Choose from fried shrimp, fried oysters, or fried catfish smeared in mayo and topped with lettuce and tomatoes. Already a master of the po' boy? You can sample the poor boy with french fries and roast beef trash or the root beer glazed Chassessi's ham and cheese at Mahoney's. Number two, Superior Grill. 
Mexican food is rarely found on a normal NOLA menu. But Superior Grill's success demonstrates that the Crescent City required a little south of the border flair and flavor. Among the typical tacos are a few locally modified delicacies, such as thick crawfish con queso and uptown enchiladas loaded with shrimp, crawfish, and spinach. If you're looking for something familiar, typical suspects like chimichangas, street tacos, and nachos are all available. Number one, Boyle Seafood House. Boyle Seafood House encourages you to sink your teeth into a bucket of crawfish, gulf shrimp, and dooley sausage, potatoes, crawfish, crab, and corn, and then follow it up with oysters, crawfish beignets, and voodoo rice. Boyle will have you making friends with the table next to you, swapping stories and sharing appetizers as unassuming as a bottle of Abita beer. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.